Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Mother of the Rosary. This solemnity uh, came to be after the 16th century. First of all, a little history. Um, before the year of 1206, the rosary didn't exist. It was given in a vision to St. Dominic, who was then a very young priest, as a way to help convert the Albigensians back into the Christian faith. And then in 1571, Pope Pius V organized a coalition of forces from Spain and some other smaller Christian kingdoms and to rescue outposts in Cyprus, which were under the Ottoman Empire. And on the 7th of October of 1571, uh, the Holy League, which was a coalition of Southern European Catholic maritime states, sailed from Messina, Sicily, and met a very powerful Ottoman fleet in the Battle of Lepanto, now, the Christian forces were vi at a very, very, very distinct disadvantage on the, uh, the war front. So in preparation for this, the Pope had all of Europe pray the rosary for the victory of the Christians at this battle. And indeed, it did happen. And the Ottomans were put down. The great, mighty Ottoman Empire was defeated by a little group of Christian maritime naval fighters. And this is something that we remember today when Mary, through the intercession of Mary, Christ had his victory and preserved Christianity throughout Southern Europe and the Mediterranean. And the Ottoman Navy, even though they were able to rebuild the ships they lost, because of the loss of the experienced sailors, they were never again as strong of a naval force. So today we remember the Holy Mother of the Rosary and the Christian victory at the Battle of Lepanto in 1571. And so let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let us say together the second form of the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say three Hail Marys. May Almighty God, God, have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. My heart is stirred by a noble theme as I sing my ode to the King. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. 
Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ redeemed all people through his life, death, and resurrection. As we meditate on his life and on the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary, grant that we may receive from your hand salvation's promised reward. We ask this to the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between her, your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. The Lord Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up into heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where, where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia, alleluia. May Almighty God cleanse my heart and my lips. I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. 
The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? The angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. <clears throat> Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as I mentioned at the outset today, we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Mother of the Rosary. And I think that story that I shared at the very beginning is very apt for us today. Because just as at that time, the Christian forces <coughs> seemed to be at the mercy, at the mercy of those who would seek to destroy her, to destroy Christianity, to destroy the church, the Muslim forces of the Ottoman Empire. And because so many prayed the rosary for the followers of Mary's son to be lifted up in victory, so too, I think, must we pray so fervently and that may not be a bad idea even though i know in a lot of our parishes in the pncc we don't have a strong devotion to the rosary perhaps this may be our time for a clarion call to start now i know our cathedral in chicago all saints cathedral every saturday at the behest of our ordin bishop ordinary Rafalco has a weekly rosary. It may not be a bad thing to participate in at noon central time every Saturday. But that also does not preclude us from praying the rosary on our own as well. And we can pray that we may be delivered from the evil that is surrounding us currently, from the evil that human beings are participating in today. And maybe the evil we participate in today knowingly or unknowingly. Because the more we pray, the closer we are to the Holy Mother of God, the closer we will be to God. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Because ultimately, don't we want to do good and avoid evil? Isn't it that basic? But isn't that difficult as well? So perhaps we could consider putting the rosary into our prayer ritual regimen once a week, twice a week, however often you would wish because, hey, let's face it, a little more prayer never hurt anyone, did it? And especially when we call on the mother of Jesus who carried him in her womb for nine months, suffered at his death, rejoiced at his resurrection, and prayed with the disciples, the apostles, after the ascension. Think she wouldn't help us? In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let us now turn to page 71 if you're following along and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he has worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. We approach the God of life with complete confidence that he hears and answers our prayers. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, the mystical body of Christ, that she may grow and prosper in the Lord's saving work with the help of Mary, the mother of God, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. The truth, justice, and a love for the gospel of life may inspire all those in public office. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, they may be filled with the graces that flow from marriage and parenthood and become true sanctuaries of life, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering in body, mind, or spirit, especially those on our parish prayer list, that they may find consolation through Christ's healing presence, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us here, that we may embrace Mary through the Holy Rosary and desire to imitate her example of love and faithfulness to God, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts. For all those intentions you bring forward today, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved dead and those who will die today, that they may find rest in the eternal presence of God, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. God, our creator, you have given us salvation. May our prayers and strivings be acceptable as we await your coming. We ask this through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked on his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the vine, work of human hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. 
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Loving Father, may our gifts be found worthy in your sight, and may the prayers we offer bring to mind the life of your Son and his most precious mother, Mary. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We desire in honoring the blessed ever-Virgin Mary to praise you, bless you, and worship you. She conceived your only begotten Son by the Holy Spirit and gave birth to the eternal light, our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints in the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We sacrifice the Mass to continue with Eucharistic Prayer 2, which is found on page 82, if you're following along. We have thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your Son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread. He gave you thanks and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. like manner he took the cup and said this is my blood which is poured out for you whenever you do this do it in memory of me together calling then his death and resurrection to mind we offer you the bread and the cup we thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your Holy Church now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing, which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. The union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay, qui tolis peccatamundi, 
Miserere nobis, on you stay. Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis, on you stay. Qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Please join me now in the second communion prayer found on page 98 if you're following along. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. If I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may it become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you. I unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, my possessed with a pure heart, that which I have taken as food, may the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever. Now with full joy of heart, proclaim and bless the name of the Holy One. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, refreshed in this Holy Communion and strengthened by the intercession of the most blessed Mother Mary, whom we honor this day, may we rededicate our lives to your service. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you now and forever and ever. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. Let God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let's join me now in a prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. And where there's sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand. To be loved is to love, for it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us today for our holy sacrifice of the Mass on the Solemnity of the Holy Mother of the Rosary. And we pray that you can join us on Sunday for the Solemnity of the Christian Family, a PNCC Solemnity at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And also keep in mind on October 16th, we do have a cabbage roll dinner here at the hall at the parish here in Kiwani. 
Um, and next week, the daily mass schedule will be changed. Please keep an eye out for the bulletin as it comes up on our website and on Facebook. And we pray that you have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And always remain in a state of grace and fight evil 24-7. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria.